As you can see, a connection with nature is important for creating a comfortable lifestyle within the city and its surroundings. But just how do we go about getting the people to recognize and appreciate this valuable resource? In our next segment, you'll discover the Intertwine Alliance, a collaboration of private landowners, government agencies such as the BLM, park services, forestry, and more. These organizations have joined with nonprofit organizations to help ensure that the public trail system remains accessible and intact. We sent Holly Fee to visit this vital local alliance and find out how it came to be in 2011 and what its future holds. Hi, today we're here with the Intertwine Alliance and our guests are Mike Wetter and Judy Bluehorse Skelton. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for Thanks. having us. Can you tell us first and foremost, where are we today and is it part of the Alliance? We are at the Oaks Bottom Wildlife Refuge and it is part of the Intertwine, yes. How long has it been part of the Intertwine or about, about how long? Uh, I think it's the first wildlife preserve that was created in the city of Portland. Uh, started about eight years ago, actually the idea for the Intertwine, and it started with this idea, uh, this recognition by some of our uh, region's civic leaders that every significant accomplishment that we'd achieved, um, whether it be the creation of a wildlife refuge like this or a major new trail, um, always had one common denominator, and it, it involved a coalition of public, private, and nonprofit organizations and leaders. And so the idea behind the Intertwine Alliance originally was rather than put that coalition together every time we wanted to do, to do something big, why not put it together and keep it together and just keep doing big things? Yeah, there is some confusion about uh, the name the Intertwine because it actually means two different things. Uh, the Intertwine itself is a place, that's the parks, trails, and natural areas in the Portland, Vancouver region. The Intertwine Alliance and the Intertwine itself is uh, a hallmark of planning for future generations, of whether we call that sustainability or planning for the seventh generation to come. And so um, part of this intertwine is uh, reclaiming and, and restoring what was uh, industrialized and lost in the last century. We, we will have to clean up and, and heal the past to uh, set a good uh, intention for the future. And I think I think that's what a lot of the partners on the Intertwine Alliance and the people that um, uh, they serve, the youth that they serve, I think that's also what guides the work they're doing mm -hmm. is uh, what, what we are healing and what we are leaving for future generations. Yeah, you know, it used to be that people thought of nature as something that was outside of the city. You know, that the metropolitan region was where people lived. You know, outside of the metropolitan area was where nature lived. And what we found when we took that approach is that we were disconnecting people from nature. That ultimately, when nature was something out there, people didn't relate to it and they didn't understand it and they didn't experience it as part of their everyday lives. And so part of the, ideas behind, the idea behind the intertwine is that nature is right here. It's part of our everyday lives. It lives right here with us in the metropolitan area. Yeah, we just have to step out the back door or look up. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's great. Well, this has been a great day here at Oaks Bottom. We've learned so much about the Intertwine and the Intertwine Alliance. Mike, Judy, any parting words for our guests? Well, the Intertwine Alliance is where leaders collaborate, and we are all leaders in this. And one thing that everybody can do uh, is step out their door and uh, enjoy the Intertwine. Yeah, I would agree. Um, get out, reconnect, um, remember, and um, get involved on the intertwine. Wonderful words of wisdom, definitely beliefs to live by. I'm Holly Fee, giving you the tools to be sustainable today.